what it's like to cook breakfast on board a sailing catamaran. That's not the boat moving. Yeah. It's my tripod being dumb. My dog is concerned. It's my tripod letting me down. Anytime my husband hears a crash inside the boat, he has to check. We are 36 days into a 45 day adventure. I forgot to defrost the bacon. I keep all of the meat on board frozen and removed from most of the packaging because trash takes up space. I also pre-marinate most of the meat so it's less likely to spoil. Realised I forgot to bring metal tongs. Since bacon is already a preserved meat, I just cut the slab in half and freeze each side. Reboot has almost everything on board the galley, but I always forget to bring something from our land house. Once I forgot the can opener, and I had to open cans with a hammer and a screwdriver. Please like and hit the subscribe button for weekly content from us. I don't ask for money from subscribers, and I try to show life on board honestly. Our dog Lebowski is eating his breakfast, but he'll also get a little treat from me soon. I do wish the galley had a better layout for cooking. As you can see, there is zero counter space. There is no such thing as a perfect boat or a perfect kitchen, though. I could have defrosted it in the microwave since we have both engines running, and we're making plenty of power. But once I committed to doing it the stupid way I'm sticking with it. Those tongs have since been donated because they were useless. If you look behind me, you can see the ocean going by. It was a perfect morning to motor sail and make breakfast. Whoever is cooking gets to pick the music. I have the entire galley redesigned on paper, but if I tear it out and remodel it, it means we're not sailing. Finally, the bacon is thawing. Tripod fails again. My mixing bowls have silicone bases, so they don't slide if the boat hits a wave. Farm eggs don't need to be refrigerated. We used four dozen in 45 days. Saved a ton of refrigerator space. I try not to use recipes that create a lot of dirty dishes or need a long prep. My husband is at the helm and you can hear the engines helping the sails. Reboot is a Lagoon 380S2 sailing catamaran. We've owned her for five years and are slowly building our adventure skills. I use propane for cooking right now because it's efficient, but I don't like how it heats up the salon. I'm designing an electric galley for her and might tear out the kitchen next summer after we get back from the Bahamas. Since catamarans sail flat, I don't need to have anything held down while I cook. But I also don't cook when the seas are rough. We eat sandwiches or cheese and crackers instead. Sometimes the wind can blow the flame out, so I check every now and then because propane is dangerous. We eat a lot of protein because sailing is tiring and you need sustained energy. It took me about a month to meal plan and buy all the food for this. Space and energy are at a premium, so no crock pots or roasting turkeys. That's a plasma lighter, no butane to run out and it's rechargeable. We brought a lot of bacon with us, but we still ran out. On the other hand, we found that we didn't really like eating canned food, so brought most of it back with us. We definitely eat differently on board than we do at home. For one thing, we eat less because the boat moving makes us a lot less hungry. I don't like to use the oven on board because it makes it too hot inside Reboot. So I meal planned recipes that can be cooked on the stovetop. I also use the pressure cooker a lot. Had to learn how to use it on land first because the manual kind can be a little scary. Lebowski can hear cheese being opened from a mile away. Watch how he comes back to check. I don't know why I have the bug screen up since I opened the window to let the bacon steam out. Bugs usually aren't a problem when we're on open water anyway. Wait patiently. He knows I'll cave, I can't resist that sweet face. I packed two really big bags of his favourite dog food on board. I didn't want to have to buy him different food in the Bahamas and have him get an upset tummy. Of course, now I have dog slobber on my hand. Our water tank holds 70 gallons. That will last us about three to four days if we're careful. I can't ever just let water run now. Even at home I turn it off when I'm brushing my teeth. Yeah. My husband wants a piece of toast with breakfast, which isn't easy to do yeah. on a boat because I don't have a toaster. Toasters use a huge amount of energy very fast, which drains our big bank of AGM batteries. We are planning to switch over to lithium in the next year or two, which will allow me to have an all-electric galley. 
Lithium batteries work with high energy appliances much better. We're about to install a standalone air conditioner for the main cabin that runs on its own bank of lithium batteries. Those eggshells will go into the ocean to be recycled versus filling a landfill. My grandmother taught me to always smell check each egg after you crack it so you don't ruin an entire recipe. Minimising inorganic trash on board is important because the Bahamas burn all of their trash. Speaking of burning, I toast the bread by holding it over the open flame caveman style. You can never have too much cheese. Most places in the Caribbean don't have waste treatment facilities or landfills, so you have to think differently about your trash and where it goes. Marine refrigerators lose a lot of cold when they're opened, so I try to do it as fast as possible and as little as possible. I keep the eggs in the guest cabin, which is acting as my pantry for this 45-day trip from Florida to the Bahamas and back. I also have food squirrelled away in every possible compartment. I always pour hot bacon fat into a metal container to cool. Although just like Joey on Friends, sometimes people try to drink it. Like most newbie sailors, I brought way too much food with us. Five second rule. At 5x speed, you can see how the reboot moves. Bugs can get into anything, even pepper. So I have covered grinders. See that plastic container on the left? I keep all the food in them to protect against bugs. This propane stove cooks more slowly than gas ranges on land, so I have to be patient. I try to have just one type of each pot and pan on board, and this one is my favourite. I can cook almost anything on it. Here goes the hot fat. Never do this unless the ocean is pretty calm. Make sure the flame is off. Checking to make sure there is no fat on the bottom so it doesn't catch on fire. We have a lot more fire safety equipment on board than we do at home because you can't leave your boat as easily as you can a house if there's a problem. Yeah. Okay. Oops, needed at the helm. Never forget to turn off the stove if you're not watching. If we change course or have some issues with the route, we always work through it together. In this case, there were a lot of crab pots all around us, and they can destroy our engines if we catch the lines that hold them. It's also very shallow here in the Florida Keys, so we don't have a lot of room to dodge them without running aground. Luckily, scrambled eggs are pretty forgiving. Once I left a lasagna in the cold oven for an entire day, because I was distracted by boat stuff. New route agreed upon back to breakfast. I'm still thinking about the new route and how shallow it is, and I forgot to turn on the stove. I'm also not using the spatula. This is me on autopilot. My mind is at the helm. The spot we're about to sail through had us with a literal inch of water under our keels last time. This time the tide is rising and higher, and I'll be watching from the bow as well. Ah yeah, brain finally brings itself back to the task at hand. My stomach is also like, you're killing me, Smalls. At this point, the eggs are almost done, and I decide I don't want to wash another utensil, so I just keep going. I try to show what it's really like to live on board a catamaran that we bought with zero experience. And when I say zero, I mean it. The first time we ever stepped foot on a catamaran was four months before we found our catamaran. The only monohull I have ever been on was the one I had to sail for my ASA 101 class. Healing scared the heck out of me, and the way the boat rolled made me really seasick. I'm an anxious, perfectionist control freak, so learning how to sail and repair a 38-foot catamaran has been a huge challenge for me. Yep. Yep. Sometimes bacon Got blows it. off the plate, but I also like challenges, and I love the reboot so I work on overcoming my fears about sailing and the unknown. True love is making well done eggs when you prefer them runny. When I'm at the helm, he makes food the way I like it. Just because you're afraid of boats, the ocean or whatever doesn't mean you shouldn't do it. Fear is not the boss of me. It's that annoying coworker from HR that tries to tell me what I can and can't do. 
I'm definitely not a foodie vlogger, because once I got the food onto the plates, I didn't think to film it. But that's okay, because y'all know what bacon and eggs look like. See you out there.